everyone. So I bought a oil catch can on Amazon. It was a very cheap one because I see them like 200 bucks all the way up. So I just wanted to try it. It's 30 some odd bucks if I wasted my money, so be it. Um, obviously too, I, I have the ability to modify it and make it better. So I just want to see what I would get. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little unboxing for you guys. So first thing I noticed, but I also read about, is it comes with a very cheap hose. So first thing we're gonna be doing is throwing that away. And then we'll grab a better hose. Um, so it basically comes with all the hardware. Comes as, I think that's Teflon tape, but. Comes with Teflon tape, which I would never use that. I would totally buy a, use a better quality one. So it comes with all the fittings. A little breather can. The O-rings, looks like most of it's there. So let's get to the catch can. So first impressions, well, it's wrapped, looks pretty good. Overall, overall, there's nothing wrong with this. So far, it feels, it's, very solid construction so it's like machined out of a nice piece of aluminum whether it's quality or not you can see a little bit of something in there it looks like dye or something from them machining it out you know they got some sealant or lubricant on the threads so that way they could probably get it together get your little breather knob so this is the part that I read about that people were so basically it just has a baffle. It doesn't have a filtering system or anything, but I already have an idea on how to modify this to put a little filtering system in here. So they were saying this was cheap and fall apart. But so off of all the reviews that I read and everything like that, I am actually for 30 bucks, this is pretty good. I'm being honest with you, um, I could not make this for 30 bucks. I couldn't even buy the material probably to make this for 30 bucks. So, one of my thoughts is that I'm going to put some aluminum, uh, or not aluminum, sorry, some stainless steel. Uh, meshing in here like a little filtering system kind of like they have on a couple other ones and that'll help give me a little bit of a filter okay so overall I'll be sorry I'm getting all uh, distracted here with it because it's actually came it's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be so just so everybody knows I thought I threw away 30 bucks and everything like that but i'll be honest with you for 30 bucks you're not going to be able to beat this catch can a little bit of modification a couple little things to it and uh i think it'll be good to go so let's take a look at all the fittings and everything so first thing i noticed these fittings feel really light so they're all aluminum um it's like a little cast aluminum but it's a very light fitting Right, so it's, don't know what kind it is. The hardware almost looks like stainless steel, but maybe not. I'll probably replace those. Uh, I'll replace these as well. The rings, I'm sure, are okay. Nuts. More fittings, different sizes, so that's a bonus too. So different sizes for different size lines. Another O-ring in here. Don't want to lose those. So it looks like you get an extra O-ring because you only need really need two right there. Nope, you need three. My bad. So when you put the breather on, you're going to need three. So people were complaining that the breather was damaged when they got it. So I'm not seeing damage per se. You know. It is what it is. It's 30 bucks. 
So obviously you're gonna have to fix it up a little bit, but otherwise I don't see it too bad. I'll replace that as well with stainless steel. Um, so the one's not stainless steel. The other two kind of look like they're almost stainless steel, but I'll replace those anyways with stainless steel ones. And the breather cap also looks okay on it too. So overall, sorry, I keep getting distracted. So overall, I would say for 30 bucks, you're not gonna beat this. And even the quality of it, I'll be honest with you, there is no way, and there is no way I could make this for 30 bucks. So that's my two cents on that. You guys make your own decisions on it. Um, so far what I see, I'm quite happy with it. And right now, I'll give it at least a four. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes after I get it all together, and I'll show you what it looks like after I do some mods to it, too, as well. Okay, hope this helps you out. Make a decision on what you want to buy a $36 uh, oil catch can I bought off at, uh, Amazon, or you want to spend $150, $200 bucks off somebody else. The only thing I can see right off the hop is I'm going to have to make a bracket for mounting it. And again, it depends on your talents and skills for me to make the bracket. It'll take two seconds. Literally, I just cut it up on our laser and give it a quick little... I don't even think I need to bend it. But Anyways, sorry. There's my review. Overall, not a bad product. Okay, hope that's helped you out. Make a decision on which catch can to buy.